Hey besties, today we are checking out a new game because I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm a gaming YouTuber, so we're gonna check out a new game called Distant Bloom, which is basically like an alien farming sim. So you know they got me with that. You know, it's like a cozy management game, which we love. Only you're a cute alien. You know I love a cute alien. And you're exploring an alien planet, which like, you know I love an alien planet. But when you get there, there's a problem. And you know I love a problem. <laughs> like basically the place is trashed, okay? It's a mess, the planet is like a disaster, but that's what we love, right? Like we get to clean it up, that's the thing, that's the game. You get to clean up the planet, and you know, it's like a typical cozy game. So you're tasked with restoring the planet and slowly but surely rebuilding society, no big deal, right? And you don't have to deal with combat or monsters, you can just plant your little alien flowers without having to worry about randomly being attacked by a xenomorph. Just sit back in your little beanbag chair and explore your new planet, build a new village for your species, your alien species. You get to be an alien in this game. Did I mention that? Restore the biomes around you using the power of plants. Uncover the secrets of the mysterious planet you now call home. That seems kind of dramatic of you, alien planet, to like have a mystery. Like when you get to a planet and it's kind of mysterious and there's like evidence that something mysterious happened, that's pretty dramatic, honestly, of you to do, planet. What's the tea? Like I want, can you just tell me? Can you just tell me what the secret is? Like, what's the mystery? Can you just tell me the answer to it? Or do I have to... Oh, I have to play the game. Oh, okay. Okay, the, the game's really fun. The game is super, super fun. And then you unravel a mystery slowly. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, and you get to be a cute little alien too while you do it. Awesome, perfect. Oh, there's one more thing. What? Did you just say befriend cute animals? <laughs> okay, well, um, if I remember correctly, we're on an alien planet. So that means that the animals, that the cute little animals are cute little alien animals, right? <laughs> yeah, this is great news for us besties. This is really good, great news for us. Um, and I have some even better news, if you can believe it. And the better news is that we're actually just going to play it. We're going to play it right now. Yeah. Yep, we're going to play it right now because the demo just dropped on Steam. Go and get it. You can play along with me if you want, if you want to be a cute alien. I really honestly cannot even fathom why you wouldn't want to be a cute alien like you're a human it's kind of cringy so if you want to be a cute alien with me go grab the demo for distant bloom and let's get started thank you so much to distant bloom for sponsoring this video so slay of you guys to make an alien game for me to play with little alien guys for me to love you too can love them and all their friends it releases on pc later this year so make sure to wishlist the game on steam and try the demo somewhere at the edge of the universe, a colorless planet covered by dark clouds. Terrible news, terrible news. Its inhabitants are desperately scouring the skies in search of a new home. I'm so sympathetic to that, that must be horrific. Large telescopes peer into space, piercing the veil of galaxies. Cold gas giant, lava planet, barren world. But maybe, there! They're cheering, that's so sweet. A tiny planet, colored by pleasant greens and blues. Exactly what we were looking for. This is like my dream planet, honestly. 12 brave altars and a small robot. Okay, we'll see. Are sent on an exceptionally long journey. I just don't really like trust robots, but we'll see. Their mission, to build a new home and save the future of the altar species. Really no big deal. And I mean that, I'm not even being sarcastic. Like I can handle that. I really can. I've saved the world before and I'll do it again. Sleeper, sleeper, wake up. Is this robot telling me what to do right now? Hmm, okay. If you say so. I mean, I think I can do whatever I want, but I'm awake, I think. I love their little voices. Asleep for how long? Is that 500,000 days? 500,050 days? Cause that's like a thousand something years, I think. Oh my God, what is this disaster? This is kind of a disaster. Things are on fire, get up. This little guy is trapped, no! Oh my God, is it the robot? Never mind. I take it all back, I love him. I love him, is he a little guy? Is he just a little guy? Is he a little helper guy? Pick it up, pick it up right now. Get, get him out of that situation. 
Oh my god. Hey there, bud. Don't be scared. Oh my god. His name is Cakey. Is that how you say that? Cakey. Cakey. He's like a little guy. If you don't already know my gripe about robots, I just don't really trust the like scary robots. You know which ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about like Terminator type robots, like robots that blend in with humanity that take us down, those types of robots. If every robot could just be a cute little helper guy, like I love a Roomba. I love the little helper robots, like the little guys. I love any little guy. And I think that what we have on our hands right now is a little guy. He's, oh my God, he's so cute. I just noticed he's got like his four legs out and stuff. He's like a little bug. He's like a little beetle bug guy. Cakey, I will die for Cakey. I've only had Cakey for two seconds, but if anything ever happened to him, y'all know what I would do. I love me too. I'm like so cute as like an alien. As an alien, I think I'm actually the cutest alien. Big thank on Trapper, Cakey. You stick with me. Don't you leave my side for a second, okay? What happened? Yeah, what happened is right. Just what exactly happened? Error, memory data incomplete. Are together, safe now. Oh, Keiki, that's all that matters. You're right, you're exactly right. But I also just wanna know what happened. Yeah, but my cryopod is completely broken. Like, what's up with that? Did we crash? Did we crash the ship? Everything's on fire right now. Where's the hearth ship? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what could have possibly happened. It detached. Nice. My pod detached from the hearth ship. Did it separate during landing? I really know what I'm talking about as an alien who does this a lot. Yes, yes, detached, crashed, trapped, cakey. Are you okay? Run diagnostics, diagnostics. See, that's something robots do that bothers me. But at the same time, like, it's cute when cakey does it. It's not cute when, like, Professor Sada does it, you know? Yes, I'm here. Don't worry. I really am, like, forming a huge attachment bond to this child. I mean, robot. Can you locate the hearth ship? He doesn't have to do anything, actually. You don't do it. You just sit back and relax, Cakey. I will cover it all. I'll figure it all out. It's me and Cakey against the world. Truly out here, it really is. Then we'll have to search for it. The Elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom. Is it? Is this gonna explode? Is there gonna be an explosion? Yeah, let's like ev evacuate the premises. Get your child out of there now. You are responsible for Cakey's life. Get him out of there. Come on. <laughs> Carry your baby out of there. I love that um, this planet is a disaster, a trash heap, if you will. Like the purple and orange sludge, like bubbling, toxic, like goo. It's really pretty uninhabitable of you, planet. It's uninhabitable, boys. I just don't know what else to tell you. We have to pack up and go somewhere else, I think. Unless, of course, you would like me to clean it. Would you like me to clean the planet? Would you like me to clean it up for everybody and plant new plants and stuff? Cause I could also, that could be an option. I could do that. What's that sound? I don't know, like a nice music? Scanner, what? Accessing mission guidebook. All elder assistants are provided with standard issue equipment. Of course, naturally. It includes one backpack, one scanner, one tool belt, and a large portion of positive attitude. Is that what he wrote in the in the handbook? The elder wrote that? The elder wrote in a large portion of positive attitude. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm still shaken from the crash. No, literally, like I'm still pretty traumatized. I'm not yelling at Keiki. Just kind of not in the mood for the elder's toxic positivity in the handbook. I'm just kidding. All right, what do we got? What do we got here? So that's what the scanner picked up. Is it supposed to look like this? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> It matches a guidebook entry on herbs, but it's dead? Hmm. Onwards, plant scanner. This icon tells you a plant's growing state. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, right now it's like a little scene emo girl with a black bow. So that can't be good. That cannot be good. Big splash. What are you talking about, Keiki? What? <laughs> what are you referring to? You're so cute. He's like a little guy. He's on all fours. He's so cute. He's like a little beetle. He's like a little bug. He's like one of those cute, adorable little bugs with the little bug feet. You know those little feet bugs? The little bug feet bugs. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those bug feet bugs. The bugs with the feet. I know a lot of bugs have feet. I just can't think of them right now. There's some bugs that have really cute feet. I just got a new resource. Raz Barrel. Is that what I got? I really did that. I really did that. Cool. Okay, cool. Oof. I just like jumped off the wall. Cool. I just cannot believe the state of this planet. This place is a, is a mess. What's this junk doing here? Pod crash? Too old and rusty, but how? This planet is supposed to be untouched. Oh. 
Okay, pick? Pick what? Oh, pick up. Ew, why would I pick up someone else's trash? I like how I'm a little bit of a diva. <laughs> Research. Yeah, no, Keiki's right. As a woman in STEM, as a scientist, I really should pick it up. Scrap metal, new resource. Yes. I just kind of can't believe that there's trash on this planet, old rusty trash, even though it was supposed to be untouched. Like, make it make sense, you know? It's almost as if there's been a whole civilization here, you know? Oh, I can pick up this rock. I can pick up a rock. What am I gonna do with this? Do I just move it out of the way? Can I use it to like climb up here, to climb up on here to get this? Can I climb up on it? No, I can't. That's okay, that's okay, I'm just trying things. I'm exploring, I'm exploring an alien planet, you know? Let me just scan this, scan this, this thing, because I can't pick it up. Tools will be needed to extract this large chunk of metal from the ground, of course, of course. Wow, goals, I really have goals now. I have to get that tool. I simply must get that tool. Aw, uh, a cool rock. You might just be able to lift it. Just kind of like exploring the planet, but also looking for what, the others, the <laughs> hearth ship or whatever, the <laughs> elder or something. Ooh, discovered cliff paths. I really did that, yeah. I just literally discovered an entire section of a planet. Yeah, yeah, pretty amazing of me. Uh-oh, more dead plant. Did we land on the wrong planet? No, literally, I'm saying like, accessing last registered coordinates, mission destination reached. Ew, yikes, then why is everything dying? What about this planet? It looks different from the last one. Scan again. Keiki, what would I do without you? Genuinely. Yeah, it's the emo girl with the little bow again. Uh-oh. Ah, it's a different species. It looks like a fern of some sort. We're really collecting data. It's almost as if I am a scientist. A little bit more than an assistant here, honestly. Getting more resources, little ras barrels, whatever that is, whatever that is. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's important. Oh my God, another cryopod. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. Should we wake them up? They're snoring so loud you can hear them from outside the cryopod. That's pretty embarrassing. Accessing mission guidebook. Follow safety regulations. Only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryosleep. Yikes. Okay, well, that's kind of a stupid rule. Like, this person needs help right now. You should probably just wake them up, you know? I really hope the elder is safe. Otherwise, this altar will be in there for a long time. Oh, no. They're just snoozing. They're honk-shooing away. Wow. Really just asleep right now. In times like these, it's incredible. No more sleep is lonely. Keiki, you're lonely even though I'm here? All we need is each other, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Don't worry, we'll come back for them. We really will. Am I not good enough for Keiki? <laughs> I'm not enough. Like, Keiki wants more aliens. I'm just not enough, I guess. It's fine. No, I guess we should probably try to wake up our colleagues. Careful, rock hopper. I love you. You're so sweet. You're enough for me, Keiki. Even though I'm not enough for you, you're enough for me. All right, just hopping on rocks, hopping on rocks like a rock hopper, like the rock hopper I am. Ooh, I discovered a cave. Look at how pretty the cave is. Look at this gorgeous, beautiful, like bioluminescent fungi or whatever, whatever it is, alien stuff. It's alien stuff. It's shiny, pretty alien stuff, honestly, is what it is. Found it. Oh, there's our ship. There's our high tech alien ship. Wow. Wow, that's really an apple hearth ship right there. So alien, so pretty. Go down, woohoo, look at us. Wow, that's so pretty, the like railing. Oh, oh, there's the elder, there's the elder. Elder, you're awake? Of course I am. A robot could not be in charge of landing the hearth ship. It's a delicate task, which I executed flawlessly. Uh, Elder Umaram, I am here to tell you that you're wrong. So you meant to detach the cryopods? I'm being petty, of course. Good for her. Good for me. Detach? <laughs> Naturally. Okay, Elder Umaram. What did you see on your way here? Oh, Elder. What did I not see, actually? I have quite a bone to pick with you. I saw quite a few things. First and foremost, I saw another altar's pod. It seemed intact, but locked. Of course, I alone hold the security key to open them, which makes your presence here quite surprising. Where's the respect? I'm a survivor, Elder Umaral. I don't 
really know why you're roasting me right now for surviving my circumstances that you put me through, by the way. My pod was damaged, okay? I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by a breeze, by the way. Keiki's a survivor as well. Well, you're here now and you can start assisting me, assistant. <laughs> oh my God, okay, Elder Umarel. Really not a huge fan of this guy, to be honest. Should we wake up the other altar? All in good time, we need to set up a home base first. But they could be in danger. The pods are there to keep them safe. Yours was just unlucky. Enough about this now. <sighs> Enough about you now. Was there anything else? Oh, Elder. Yeah, I'm just getting started. So, most notably, uh, I don't know if you've taken a look around, but this place is not exactly what we expected. Was there something wrong with our telescopes? This planet looked lush with life when we saw it from Ultra 2. I'm being a little bit petty. I'm like, was there something wrong with our telescopes? Were they like broken or something? Well, the images might've been a little fuzzy, but we have been in cryosleep for a very long time. Yeah, uh, how long exactly are we talking here? Is it a thousand something years, like over a thousand years? Cause that's a little like too much, I think, to sleep for. I don't know, I just wanna know exactly how long, but I guess I'll never know. What happened during such a period, only the plentiful knows. The plentiful, that must be like our God, our alien God. How cute. Was there anything else? <laughs> I have a list. Elder, I'm not done yet. I don't want to alarm you, but I did find this junk scattered around. Yeah, it's pretty dire. You picked up trash from the ground. Uh, yeah, it's really strange though. It looks like it's been here for a long time. I'm trying to like report something notable to you. Strange how? I've never heard of a planet without trash, have you? Uh, yeah. This is, I'm talking like rusty metal and stuff and trash, trash from the garbage. Speaking of which, I needed to move all this junk out of the way so we can start unpacking. Like literally zero respect for the workers that he employs. It's pretty remarkable. Report back to me when you're done. Okay, Elder Umarel, sure. Wow, Elder Umarel, really not on the top of my list right now. Okay, just gotta go pick up all the scrap metal, the scrap metal that's apparently just totally natural. Oh, I picked it up and then, and then this happened. That's like amazing. That's actually such a spectacle. That's actually a phenomenon. That's remarkable. Wow, so pretty. Aw, I'm like really bringing life back to the planet. Every time I pick up a little trash, that happens. That's so wonderful. It's so fulfilling to me to do that. I just can't wait for this planet to be popping off. Like, can you even imagine how pretty this place is gonna be? How awesome is it, is it gonna feel? Oh, I wanna play this whole game now, I really do. Cause it's gonna feel so awesome to like, cause you know that like once you get this planet, you know, cleaned up and stuff, it's gonna be so pretty. I just wanna see it all like done up. I wanna see it all green and pretty and the buildings and stuff. I just wanna play this whole game. <laughs> I hate that this is a demo. It's so fun, it's so cute. I think that's all I can clean up for now. Oh, look at it, it looks so pretty oh so fun i love it alert unusual activity oh god what big root yeah okay cool all right oh a bit of life is coming back into this root where lead? I wish we had our builder here to help us out. We'll just have to come up with something on our own. Yeah, I can't wait to like unlock all the other aliens and stuff. I wanna meet the other aliens. Goodness, is this place not a tad too green? What did you do? <laughs> okay, Elder Umaral, I kind of have already had enough with you, it's fine. I cleaned up the trash like you told me to. Cleaned? Did you pick it off the ground again? He literally told me to do that. Did you not hear him tell me to do that? You're a strange one. I am a strange one for following your orders. I hope they all come to their senses and realize that he doesn't treat us very well and that they should elect me as the elder instead. Don't you want a cute, pretty, nice elder who respects everyone? Now we should wake up Bahan so they can set up the exto nutri processor. Was it them I saw in the pot on my way here? It could be. Ask the robot to lead you to them. He has a name, it's Keiki. I almost forgot, here, take this cryopod security key. 
off you go. Okay. Yeah. You're, um, not my fave, not my fave, not really a huge stan of, of the elder, but it's okay. That's why I am all the more eager to wake up some more aliens, some more friends, some more friends to just like kind of whisper about the elder and how unfair he is with, I can't wait to just have some colleagues, you know, we're just going to go try to get back to that pod. I forget where, it, where it is, but we'll find it. We get to explore on the way. I love having Keiki with me. He's such a great little partner. He's just like so steep. He's so cute. I love you, Keiki. Keiki's carrying this entire game. I love him. All right, found it. Here's the pod. We're gonna open a pod. We're gonna get a new alien. I can't wait to meet the other aliens. Uh, there's another alien. Hi, good morning, sunshine. Oof, my back. Wakey, wakey, cakey. I love you, baby. Hey, what's up? Remember me? Yeah, I bet you thought you saw the last of me. Oh, well, that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? We're on Ultra 3 now. Thank goodness. I don't think my bones could have taken one more day in that pod. What is this shovel doing in my pod? Oh, I get a shovel now? Is that what you're saying? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back is killing me. How did that happen? What? What? You just had a shovel on your in your bed? Who had the groundbreaking idea of storing it in here? Go easy. Here, I'll take this off your hands. That's one way to get a shovel. Cool. So I just got a shovel. Thank you. I don't want to see that thing ever again. That's so funny. That's such a funny way to get a, to a new tool. It's like, can you please take this thing away from me? All right, I'm leading him back to the base, back to the home base. Here we go. Rock hoppers. Just follow me. I know where I'm going. You know, I'm just an amazing leader, honestly. Look at Keiki. He's like galloping. He's so cute. He's like a little galloping guy. All right, so I guess this guy can make us food or something. So I have to set up his tent. I have to do it, me. It's almost as if I'm carrying this entire species, actually, just doing everything for everyone. What's new? It's fine. I, I don't mind. I don't mind, you know? If someone's got to do it, might as well be me. I like helping. I like helping people. All right, set up his tent. Your tent awaits you. All right, let's see it. By the way, the elder wants us to install the whatever extra nutri prop. That's like his thing that he uses to make food. So I will absolutely do that for you. I am here to help. I get another to get this other box and set up the thing. Nice going. I've had my fair share of carrying these things, but my back still hurts and I wouldn't want to drop it. Okay, so now they want me to go find some plants and stuff to put into the food maker so I can make some food. Yeah, I found some like alien plants. Herb seed. So we're just going to make some food, I guess. New food. Jelly is ready. Okay, so now I guess we got to go wake up Riza the builder. They're going to start start building stuff, building buildings. So we get to go wake up another alien. Locate the builder's pod. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Here we are just exploring the whole place. I get to use my shovel now. And so I can clear these bigger areas and then pick up more scrap metal. Love it. Love getting tools that unlock more stuff for me. Discovered some hills. Nice. Look, do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on? Oh, nice. So I um, I cleaned up this area and then a root grew so I can walk on it. That's awesome. Slay. Cool. I love it when the earth helps me out, when the earth gives me like a, a, a boost. Just cleaning up all the trash. Somebody's got to clean up after everybody around here. There's Reza's pod. Nice. Cool. That's right, but it's lodged on the other side of the cliff. Uh-oh, we got to find a way around or something, right? Let's find another bridge. It's like we have to make more of those roots grow or something. So yeah, basically, like, I think based on the fact that the root grew down and showed us that that happens right before we found the pod, that we need to find a different way to, that it is implying that, like, that's what we need to do is get more roots to grow. And it seems like they grow whenever you clean stuff up and just like make more stuff grow. So I guess that's what we got to try to do is just clean up a bunch of stuff and try to make more plants grow. Oh, I just love that. It's so gratifying when you pick something up and like a bunch of stuff grows. You know, I've been wondering, I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Uh -huh, you're so cute because they come from a planet that like everything was already dead and stuff. Ask seed. Keiki, I love you. Um, I don't think they can talk. 
whisper, can they? Oh my God, so cute. They like just don't know. Let's put it in the ground instead. I love like an alien that just doesn't know stuff. That's such a cute trope to me. Like when an alien just doesn't really know how stuff works because they don't have that on their planet. Oh my God, I get to plant. This is us planting seeds. Here we are. This is my farmer era for real. I planted that thing. I planted a plant. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, what? Oh, when I planted the herb, other plants grew too. Is that a tree and a fern? Oh yeah, this is the ticket. Yeah, we just gotta plant a bunch of stuff and then we'll get more roots, I think. Maybe the plants are like us. Having neighbors makes them happy. Oh, I bet the other plants have seeds too. We can harvest them and keep growing different plants next to each other. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right, so we just gotta plant a bunch of different plants next to each other. And like, I have to try to find these areas where they have like the little honeycomb patterns because that's where you can plant stuff. And you have to plant stuff of different types like they all have to be like i think there's like three different types of plants that i've been able to find the fern the tree and the herbs you have to plant those three next to each other to make them all like react and grow and stuff so i'm just gonna keep doing that keep running around doing that and finding all the places that you gotta plant them look at my little planet kind of slowly but surely coming back to life i love seeing like little little pockets of green uh, in places that they weren't there before. I just want to clean this whole planet. You ever just want to clean a whole planet, you know? I love this. I just, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to see things grow. And I get my little roots. I just keep getting more little roots that bring me to new areas and stuff. Oh, okay, cool. This is it. Yeah, I can access it now. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Riza. Wakey, wakey. Cakey, protect. I love you, Cakey. Open pod, knock, knock, knock. Wakey, wakey. No, no, stop, what? Where is Risa? How did they get out of the pod unless, no. What, what? Oh my God, stop, what? Did we, oh my God, did we forget Risa on Ultra 2 a thousand years ago? <laughs> oh God. Cakey guard pots, builder on ship. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank the, what was his name again? The um, plentiful. Thank the plentiful. Oh, Reza left a note. Nice. Read? Yeah. Well, I'm the elder's assistant, so no, this is private. It's not private. Nothing's private. No, nothing's private anymore. Not in circumstances like this, of course. Yeah, I'm the elder's assistant, so heading to try frucation. What are 3710? We'll go to the hearth ship from there, Reza. Riza, what are you thinking? Riza's crazy. Yeah, Riza's kind of the craziest person I've ever met. Yeah. What is Riza doing? What is Riza thinking? But we're supposed to go to the ship if we get separated. I never thought Riza would break the rules. I just never expected that from, from them. No Pathfinder? Lost? I doubt it. They're heading somewhere else. <sighs> typical Riza, leaving no details. That is typical Riza. As Riza's friend, as Riza's bestie, in fact. Riza is my bestie, my best friend. I do know how Riza is. They would do that. Typical, typical Riza. Elder, Riza's crazy. Elder, Riza's kind of crazy. Elder, I found Riza's pot empty. I'm like tattling. I'm like being a little snitch. By the plentiful. I know, that's what I said. But they left a note. Why did you not start with that? Nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. Mm-hmm, it is addressed to me, but I can see it has been opened. Not by any nosy assistant, I hope. Elder, I just, I, yeah, I don't really care, honestly, what he thinks of me. Hmm, let us see. Heading to Riza ventured out to some unknown coordinates. Yep. Do you think they're safe? That's all I care about. That's all I'm concerned about. I never expected Riza to be so rash, but I trust they can handle themselves. It must be something very important to draw a reliable builder away from Hearth ship like what does Riza know that we don't I will try to locate where they are headed until then stand by assistant sure oh I'm so tired I'm not surprised you've been running around all day it's so true thank you Bahan for always acknowledging how hard I work why don't you take a break come on let's light the campfire oh yeah we get to have a campfire I kind of want to wait until it's nighttime though to have the campfire you know yeah let's wait until it's nighttime to have the that I like the ambience of that better you know I'll just harvest some seeds in the meantime. Plenty to do. There's plenty to do. Yeah, never a dull moment here on our new planet.
All right, now that the sun has set, my ambience level has been reached and we can um, have the fire now. I'm, I'm gonna allow us to have the fire now. Yep, I'll allow it. I will allow it. Yeah, I'll allow us to have a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun as a treat. Yep, mm, I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Analyzing low oxygen level. What, what does that mean? Am I gonna die? What? I mean low oxygen level. <laughs> Kiki, are we gonna be okay? Maybe the elder knows how to do this. They were probably around when fire was discovered. <laughs> oh, Bahan! I love you. I love you, Bahan. <laughs> and then Keiki did a smile. Keiki did a smile emoji. Petty little KK. Bahan and I plan to hang out around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. He's gonna yell at me. He's gonna belittle me. Try finding something that you have in common. That's always a good first step. What are you talking about? Huh? Are you like shipping us? No, I meant the fire is not lighting up. Literally, Elder Umaral, like stop. <laughs> stop this at once. Be so serious right now. Aha. Uh -huh. I can, of course, show you how to do it. Just give me some time to find my tooth toot. You're what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, let me show you how to start a proper fire. Okay, this ought to be rich. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my tooth toot with me. Yeah, good thing. What on earth? That was nice. He tooted, yeah. He really tooted that tooth toot. Nice. That was beautiful, actually. Good job. Exceptional. I agree, actually. Elder. Elder Umaral. It's like the coolest, nicest thing you'll ever do. Oh, look at the butterflies. I didn't see them before. The life is really coming back to this planet. I love it. Oh my god, Bahan is so petty. I kind of love them. Ow, my ears. <laughs> I thought that sounded really nice, Bahan, actually, but okay. Is the tooth toot necessary, Elder? Why are we roasting the Elder? Actually, I know why. We deserve this moment. Not at all, but it certainly is entertaining. I used to be in a tooth toot band back in the day, you know. Very cool. <laughs> All right, rock on. What songs did you play? We mostly played covers exclusively with Tooth Toots. That's awesome. I actually love music, so I'm happy to hear that we have music in this society. Goodness. Bahan, you're like my bestie, honestly. Like, I really will always have your back, Bahan. How'd you learn to play that thing? My grandparent always had an appreciation for Altarian folk songs. I picked up the Tooth Toot from them. Do you still play? I mean, you just saw him play, assistant. And not much these days. Yeah, probably because we've been asleep for a thousand years, I think, maybe. Yawn, I think I asked everything already, yeah, yawn. Yes, let us retire for the night, sleep well. Quest completed, Keiki not tired. Oh, okay, if Keiki's not tired, then we're not going to sleep. No, 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 you guys get back here. We wait till Keiki's tired. Oh, you want to explore some more? Why don't we go back to check on the plants we saw while searching for the ship? Yep, I am so good to Keiki. Keiki gets to do whatever he wants, okay? Sure, we can check on the route as well. Maybe figure out a way to cross that ravine. Right, right, no, yeah. My back? Yes, it's better now, thanks. You're welcome, Bahan. I just care about you so much, bestie. And now that we know your back's okay, I just want you to rest assured that it's gonna stay okay, because I always got it. All right, I got your back, buddy. Okay, so I went and checked on all my plants and they look great. And the root is actually here, it grew because they all look so great. Yeah, so now we can go across. What is this? Hello, knock, knock, knock. Is that like a door? It's like a door. We were told this planet like had zero people on it ever. Strange wall, or is that a door? It looks ancient. Oh my gosh, wow, it's getting all green. <sighs> What? Oh my God, what's happening? I'm scared. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. What is this over here? No, stop. What? The question marks and stuff and it's like just a bunch of light. Hello? Huh? Was that a voice? <gasps> what? <laughs> Again, you. What? <laughs> Me? Keiki's like new friends. Keiki, get back out. No. Oh my God, what is happening? Yeah, let's check it out, right? Stop, no, wait, it's just a demo. Oh no. Yeah, safe to say I actually physically can't wait to play the rest of this. Wow, demos are kind of cruel, huh? Wow, great demo. Good job, guys. Thanks again to Distant Bloom for sponsoring this video. Remember that the full game is gonna be released later this year on PC and make sure to wishlist it on Steam and check out the demo. You can get all the links to it in my description and pin comment and thanks for checking it out with me.